Adam, do you want to start us off? Well, what a game, mate. Second half. You must be pretty pleased to take it. Yeah, it was, uh, I think, the best second half uh, since I'm here. And uh, we made two not unimportant substitutions in the in the break, I think. The good thing was that we were only one one down. Um, that gave us a chance to to change a few things and to to force a little bit of of ner nervosity or or something like uh, yeah, getting out of this comfort zone they have been in the first half because they were amazing. Tottenham showed in the first half how you have to play against the early counter pressing situation with one touch out of the pressure, not to defend for us, it was too good for us. But maybe we were not sharp enough, and uh, that what, uh, was what I wanted to change in the half time. I brought with Longy and Ingsi two strikers with with more speed and more uh, attacking situations to create more attacking situations to bring them a little bit on the back foot. Uh, we knew that they will still take risk and this risk helps us to to win more balls and uh, that was the reason why we we got more comfortable in our game and also you have to to be aware of every counter situation they have so much quality with with Kane and and then Son on the pitch and it was it was always dangerous but we we went if you want all in in the half time and uh, it worked perfect because Simsy made a fantastic job First game yesterday meeting told him what to do. Uh, was not nervous or something like that. He wanted to show up and long the same. And then we we had more pressure on them. We were attacking better and and uh, created even more chances. And uh, yeah, finally scoring two goals, two fantastic goals. Has Sims uh, surprised you at all? Has he, has he, he's come back from loan where he, in the championship where he wasn't really being used there, he hasn't really figured much, and then suddenly comes up and does that. Yes, surprised, I don't know, um, last week he trained very well and I thought I, thought, uh, I couldn't um, really grab how, how strong he is and that was the reason why I wanted to see it once in a Premier League game, then I can decide, okay, has he the quality to help us or not? That it is in such a game coming in the half time, it's not the easiest job eh, against uh, Tottenham to come in. But uh, I think he showed from the first minute on that he's not nervous or something like that. He, he has quality when he has the ball, that he has a good feeling for counting, or for, for pressing situations, and uh, that helps us. And I think he made a good job. How, sorry, how often is it that uh, James Ward practices those free kicks? I don't see him that often. Maybe he does it when I'm not on the pitch. It can also be possible. But uh, in the moment, maybe he doesn't have to do it that often because he has mo a lot of self-confidence for the situations in the moment. And uh, if you have this technique in your mind, uh, you go there with, with, with the feeling, OK, I can score. And that helps sometimes more than all the practice you do. Well, very significant, obviously, at the end players you know we lost against man united 3-2 after a really uh, sensational game we played there and we only earned warm words and i said to them today that we want to earn more than only warm words we want to earn uh, points for for what we are doing and uh, they showed that they believe in what they're doing and um, that's what the crowd felt in the second half that uh, there's a team on the pitch they were fighting for every for every goal and for 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 every point and uh, that's uh, was a moment to celebrate with them but also to tell them that it's only one step and uh, a big one maybe but um, as you see the other results that we have still wins to take and and a long way to go but it helps a lot if you have three or three weeks no game to to come in this break with a with a big win against Tottenham. How much is injury, I don't know. It's a kick on the hamstring, and I, I don't know how 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 big the the the, the it hurts, or maybe maybe it's not so so worse. Ralph, you mentioned the three week break. In a way, it couldn't have come at a worse time for you. Momentum was building. 
this fixture in Monday night's performance. Yeah, but uh, it's better to go in this work uh, in this in this three weeks uh, with, with a win and, and above the line. Uh, the last break we had for two weeks, we were under the line. And it is mentally after the Cardiff game. It was a horrible two week because you have you had no chance to to make this uh, last uh, defeat uh, forgotten. Um, also, we have the chance to to bring Ingsi back on the pitch. We need him if he is fit again. Maybe against Brighton, then we have another opportunity for the front for the front for first row. And yeah, so we will we will use this time for for good good working. Okay, thank you guys. We'll do a couple of minutes for Monday's over. Okay.